Hey guys, Cube Hamster here with a, a new video. Best wishes for 2015. Um, I got something small. Just want to, you know, get into making videos again. So it's just a, yeah, a tiny TNT cannon I have for you guys today, starting the new year. And this is something that I will modify and need for future projects. But I thought, why not just show like the stationary version per first, and then afterwards. Uh, like in the next video, I'll probably uh, have an, an updated version that can move, something that I need. Um, this is a uh, Slimestone TNT cannon. Uh, it's, it doesn't use TNT to propel the uh, TNT forward. It has no dispensers. Uh, you'll see some note blocks. Those aren't actually necessary, but for the stationary v version, it, it makes uh, things interesting. I'll show you in a reason why. Um, and yeah, I think we should just fire it. So the, the way this thing works is with lots of block updates. It has a lot of butts, block update detectors. And you can pretty much just spam TNT and just fire it really far away. So let me just fire one so you can see the arc. Goes pretty far. Um, now this thing is multi-range and I'm using the repeater to uh, yeah, basically as buttons to update the uh, the range. So now we are gonna fire close range Let's fire a whole bunch there we go so uh, two distances uh, in a moment I'll show you exactly how far this thing is actually shooting uh, and then I'll also show you uh, how you can kind of use this as a man cannon um, it doesn't fire that far but it's still interesting okay so I made a quick <laughs> testing setup just with some wool um, so let's see how thing how far this thing actually fires. It fires consistent range. I should probably have fired one, but it's like halfway that block. Why did I fire two? I don't know. Um, so let's see. That was like there-ish. Let's get sponge or something. There you go. So. Like, I can measure from the front of the cannon, that's what I'm doing right now. Uh, you could also, men <laughs> like, measure from where it, it actually launches from. Um, but let's say 10, 20, 28, plus 3. So 28 from the, from the front and, like, 31 from where it actually fires. I think that's pretty good for a non-TNT propelled TNT cannon. <laughs> Um, and especially now that Mojang has kind of nerfed the velocity you can give to TNT with other TNT explosions. Um, this is a pretty fuel efficient way of launching stuff. Now, the uh, horizontal distance before it goes you know, down uh, for the, um, like the, the close range shot is obviously a lot less far um, but that's why you you need a bit of altitude in order to pull that off um, but yeah I think overall still especially the far distance and if you have high grounds which if you place this on a wall or if you're uh, on I don't know a moving robot for instance which you know <laughs> is what I hope to I hope this will turn into the replacement of the uh, the a1 front facing mobile TNT cannon. Uh, that's something for the next video though. But it has one additional cool feature. So let me just quickly set it up and show you guys the man cannon. Okay, um, I made a little setup. So we we have quite the gap here and uh, not something you can do with speed or jump boost or whatever. Uh, still not as far as you can shoot the TNT cannon though, unfortunately. Um, but the idea is that uh, we fire the cannon without TNT, so just by toggling this repeater, and then hopefully, if I if I time it properly, let me let me first do it without in like in in creative. Okay, that's it's quite far. It's quite far. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. I think I got this. So let's. Change the game mode zero. No, 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 no. Okay. Oops. It's it's difficult. I'll I'll admit it. 
I guess it's it's kind of part of the challenge. Um, nope. Oh well. <laughs> One last attempt. I believe. Uh, no. I think. I'm, I'm wondering. Because I, I did do it in creative without double jump flying. Yeah, you really you have to be forward as much as possible when you do it. So let's try it one more time. See if we can get a little bit of consistency. No. No. Definitely no. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Can't say that I've mastered it or anything, but at least I managed to do it twice. Uh, but yeah, so uh, next video will, will be a tutorial on this thing. Uh, at the moment, it's just schematic and world download that is in the description of the video. And uh, yeah, starting next week, uh, there will be more and more videos coming out and uh, have some plans for um, yeah, some new series. So you guys can look forward to that. Like always, if you're new to my channel, sure to check out my other videos, subscribe and uh, Leave a like and a comment if uh, if you feel like it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye bye.